Quest World, episode 3, The Stray. Things are starting to get more and more interesting with every single episode. And in this one, we have a lot of revelations, and yet again, a lot of new questions that come from these revelations. And there are multiple storylines. This time around, we don't see the man in black at Iris's character, but that was fine because there is a lot going on here. First of all, more and more androids are remembering their past. There was the guy in the first episode with the milk and everything who has gone insane and is remembering things from the past. Anthony Hopkins actually had a partner when they started out working on the park, a partner named Arthur, who treated the androids as real people. And then we also have Bernard, the science guy who is having some problems, and we learn about his son, who is dead probably related to something that happened in the park, probably some type of coma, I don't know, it was weird, but maybe we'll know it in detail, maybe it's not even all that important, but we actually see some very human moments from him, and it was very, very darn sad to watch, and uh, all these things about parents uh, losing their child, it's, it's always depressing. And uh, we are getting to see a little bit more of his character, and I like it, and the actor is great, Jeffrey Wright, oof. Phenomenal acting. Also, there is a host, one of the androids, who has gone stray. He's just lost his shit and disappeared. And you have uh, the lesser Emsworth and the other girl who go around trying to find him. And once they find him, they have to bring his head back, probably because there is all the AI and whatnot inside his head. But he crushes it by himself with a rock. And probably the most brutal kill so far in this season. And uh, now no one is going to know why it happened, because everything is probably destroyed, that's what I think. So that's interesting. And also we have the backstory to the character of James Marsden, with all the Wyatt thing. And that's interesting that uh, Anthony Hopkins created it for him, but uh, once they got to the shootout with Wyatt and his men, and they were dressed like cannibals, it was very weird. Did you notice that he shot all of them and none of them died or started bleeding? So this probably means that are, those are real people, which is crazy. So maybe they're gonna delve a little bit deeper in those people that just start living inside this world and they lose their shit, so that was very 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 interesting. And there are plenty of interesting things and we still need a lot of answers. And also Dolores. She actually kills someone by the end of the episode. She is not innocent anymore. She actually kills someone. So that's interesting. And also we have the other two characters, Ben Barnes and the other guy, who are together now and they go on this quest and uh, they actually find Dolores at the end of the episode or Dolores finds them. So that was very interesting. And is there going to be a romance? Maybe, maybe not. Uh... It was a great episode, and uh, the special effects were crazy in this one. I also loved seeing a younger Anthony Hopkins, and not a lot of people saw him as a, a youngster, and pretty uncanny. It looked, uh, wow, great. Even better than Robert Downey Jr. in Captain America Civil War. Wow. And also, the music is always great. I can't wait for the CD to be released, but this was an interesting episode. All these episodes are interesting, and they're only to episode 3! There are 7 more episodes, they can literally go anywhere with what's happening. But seeing the androids actually start losing everything, actually remembering the past, it's incredibly interesting. And uh, the human characters are just as interesting, so... Fingers crossed for next week's episode, probably it's going to be even better, with more new revelations, and maybe... even more questions to be answered, but that's fine. And let's hope to see something of Ed Harris, because he is creepy, very creepy. But still guys, have you seen episode 3, The Stray, of the episode of the season? Tell me in the comments below, tell me also what you think about it. And as always, watch here to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.